Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show a little utility I use for comparing multiple element text contents at once. I prepared an app. Let's open Cypress. It's just a static page, so we don't have to do much to run it. And to end testing, electron prices, just load the page. So notice all those fees and prices and the total. Imagine we know the values and we want to validate that these values are displayed on the page. Each fee and price has its own data size attribute for the row, right? So you have the price, shipping, handling, tips, because you have to give tips nowadays, and the total. Let's move it to the left, edit it to the right, so we can say contains data size say price and inside there is a td element and 10.99 perfect um what about shipping 6.99 then we have handling and the handling is 139 by the way notice copilot is adding this up so it shows total uh, but this is incorrect so we're gonna change it to tips 199 and now uh, total 2136. Perfect. We can simplify the code just a little bit. We are repeating ourselves, creating this long selector. We can say, for example, const TID. So we give an ID and it forms it. So we can say TID price, for example, TID shipping, TID handling, TID tips, and TID total. Okay, great. The only problem with this particular test is that if one value is incorrect, then it retries and retries and retries, and this command fails. And we have no idea what happens to the rest of the fees and prices. And we want to check all of them, because maybe shipping is incorrect and the total is incorrect, and that would be a disaster. But a failing site contains shipping command blocks the rest of the test. We would like to grab all these values at once and validate them all at once and report all the incorrect values. So how could we do that? Well, we can start by just moving everything into an array. So I'll say names and all those values, like price, shipping, handling is there. And then I'm going to bring the library that I use every time pretty much in all my project and Cypress map. Not Maple, we're not in Canada, but map. And the cool thing what we can do is we can say get in order names. And so get in order names is this um, query command that comes from Cypress maps. You can pass a list of selectors and it will give you each element for that selector all in order using comma but like it does it in a special way so that you get the elements in order of selectors okay but we need to form selectors so we need to take names and map it to 2id okay perfect so notice right here get in order grabbed all those elements now once we grab the elements we want to map it and this comes from cypress map that was the original name um oh, factor for naming Cypress map, Cypress map, because it provided map. And each element has inner text property. And now we can say should and say deep equal and what are the values? Well, the values that we use right here. Okay, so now we're checking all the values at once and notice chai assertion truncates uh, long objects by default, but we can change it. Uh, chai config truncate threshold okay so now we're printing the whole thing now when you have a long array of values and you say it's not equal to another long array of values it's kind of bad right because you don't see easily at least which values are different in this case the second value i believe yes is but you have to work hard to actually parse it and say the second value but which value was it which element so what we can do here is we can take all the extracted strings and we can zip it up. So let's say these are values and we can use Cypress low dash zip 
objects and the names are the names from array and values is another array and now we get an object and here let's see if copilot gives us a right answer okay uh, close enough but so that would be dollar ten ninety nine dollar six ninety nine and thirty nine one nine nine twenty one thirty okay almost right there okay so the whole object is equal and we have nice assertion and let's say we change two of these values like handling and tips so now we have almost the same situation as a long array we have big objects so we don't know which properties are different but we know they're different so let's improve that we can use another method from cypress map called difference and we're gonna pass the expected object there and what the side difference would do it will take the subject object and the expected object and it will look at each property one by one and say do you have the same value if yes ignore it but if you have different values it will create an object and put each property there and it will describe how they're different so if nothing is different then the output should be empty okay but now notice what it says computed the difference and by the way you can see what the difference was right here expected object the current subject with different values these are values from the page and then it describes it like this property handling actual was dollar 39 expected 0 39 tips and so on and this message only has how this object with differences is different from an empty object right and the cool thing if for example if you don't have a property it will say extra true right for the total right and the value of a total property and for example if you have an extra property that you expect like total z right it will do it as well as you said missing right i expected to find the total z property but it was missing excellent in the future video i'll show how we can make the psi difference even better by using predicate functions instead of providing hard-coded values